So here's a practice SAT question. This one is a story problem, so it's it's a little bit trickier than a lot of other problems might be. Uh, a better situation would be if they just kind of presented us with the problem and we were asked to solve it. In this case, we've got to build the problem. So if you check out what we have going on, we're talking about a food truck that sells salads and drinks. They tell us the price of a salad is six fifty, price of a drink is two bucks. Food trucks revenue from selling a total of 209 salad and drinks, so 209 total items sold in one day, got them this much money, right? $836.50. How many salads were sold that day? Now, you have options here, so what you can try to do is you can try to guess and check with these options, right? That's the way that you could take advantage of a multiple choice test. But if you want a direct way to solve this problem, and if you've remembered anything about your systems of equations lessons that you've gone through in the past I'm almost guaranteeing you solved story problems kind of like this one right now so what I underlined right here in red is a statement about the total number of items sold if I let s be the number of salads they sold and d be the number of drinks they sold if I add s and d together I've got to get 209 right if I add these individual types of items together, I've got to get a total of 209 items sold. I also underlined the total money that was brought in that day in orange. So think about how you're going to compute the money that they would bring in. You would take the number of salads they sold, S, and you would multiply by the price of each salad to determine how much money they brought in from selling those salads. And then you would add on to that the amount of money they brought in by selling the drinks by taking the price of a drink, which is $2, times the number, number of drinks they sold. That total amount brought in has to equal the total amount that they gave us, 836.50. So these two equations form a system, and what we would like to do is we would like to solve this system. Now, the, the way that I personally s like to solve one of these is, look at the wording. It says how many salads were sold. We don't necessarily need to determine how many drinks are sold. So I read that and I think, well, I can eliminate D from my system of equations, get my answer for S, and be done with the problem. I don't even have to go and try to figure out what D equals. So that's what I did over here on the left. Um, so for elimination, what you have to do is you either have to add or subtract your equations in a way that eliminates a variable. And like I mentioned a few minutes ago, strategically, it's going to make more sense for us to eliminate D because we don't necessarily need to know the answer for D. We only need to know the answer for S. So I multiplied this top equation by 2. If I do that, I get 2S plus 2D equals 418. You might remember the reason why we want to do that is because I need in front of the variable I'm trying to eliminate, I either need matching or opposite coefficients. When they're matching, like they are here, positive 2D and positive 2D, I'm going to subtract the second equation from the first one. doesn't matter what order you do this in. If, if you would have preferred to have this equation written at the top and then subtract this equation just so you're dealing with positive values, that's fine. As long as you're careful with what you choose to do, uh, there are a variety of ways you could get this correct result. So when I do 2s minus 6.5s gives me negative 4.5s, 418 minus that 836.50 gives me this. Divide both sides by negative 4.5, I get my answer for s. So we know that the answer for this is going to be 93 salads sold. I also have the, the method of substitution being used over here. It's a little longer, you're going to see. Uh, I solved the top equation for d. Uh, so I got D to be expressed in terms of S, and then I substituted this expression here in place of the D in the opposite equation. I then was able to distribute. I did some work to isolate S, and once again, I got 93. Had the problem asked you to also find the number of drinks sold, you would, using either of these processes, once you get your answer for S, you'd have to plug that answer back into one of your original equations and then solve for the corresponding value of D.